Hi everyone, welcome back to Dilla's Kitchen. A herzog is one of South Africa's most delicious desserts, filled with jam in a cup-based pastry and topped with coconut. Today I'll be making it in honor of my Aunt Ida, a woman who was very close to my heart, and I'll be using her recipe. Okay, so we didn't record the first part. This is the pastry dough that I'm starting off with. I've got 250 grams of soft butter, I've got one cup of sugar and two eggs with a teaspoon of vanilla essence and I will be I have one teaspoon of salt with two teaspoons of baking powder and I will be mixing that as well I have four cups of flour that I will be adding gradually I just added the rest of the flour and I'm using my hands to work it through and to make sure it's well combined. I just want to show you it's a very soft dough and this is the consistency of the dough. I'm going to wrap it in plastic just to keep the dough moist and I will be moving on to my coconut. Starting filling. now with the filling. For the filling, I have 125 grams of soft butter. I have one cup of sugar. And I have three eggs that I'm going to add gradually. And I'm going to mix it with an electric mixer. I'm adding two teaspoons of vanilla essence to my butter, sugar, and egg mixture. And I have three cups of coconut that I also that I'm adding gradually. So there's so many ways to make it. So I've just added three and a half cups of coconut. You can add three and just see what the consistency looks like. And then just add more. And Alice is full coconut. I'm going to start rolling out my dough onto a floured surface. It's a very soft dough. So I'm using these pans and I have just scooped and sprayed it. And I'm using one of these sunflower cookie cutters you can use any cookie cutter doesn't matter okay so you can use plain cookie cutters as well so I'm gonna do a few plain and a few with a sunflower cookie cutter I'm starting with my Erzoki filling it's about a teaspoon of apricot jam a tablespoon of coconut filling to fill it up not too full so I make sure that I close it on the sides so that the jam doesn't run out and the first pan is ready and it's going into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius I'm going to bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes, but watch it while it's in the oven. Okay, so I'm starting with the jam tarts now. So I only do half, but it's going to spread anyway because I mix, I cream my butter, sugar, eggs. And because I do it that way, it's going to spread all around. But when it comes out of the oven, I only add my jam when it comes out. But I'll show you what I'm going to do once it's out of the oven. So this is also going into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. So my herzog is on this side, finally cooled down. As you can see, one is missing. My husband just took one. So I'm gonna remove these. And then I'm gonna show you what I do with the, with the jam tarts. So the jam tarts also came out of the oven. 
I am going to fill up with some strawberry jam. I'm going to do some strawberry and some apricot. So, and then, so with these, as you can see, it's all around in the the whole pastry is actually full so you just push it a bit back like that and then you add your jam just on the side so my hair sochis and jam tarts are done so the last conversation my aunt and I had just before she passed on I still asked her Will we be able to do what she did with baking and cooking and she said it is a special touch so i hope that i use my special touch with her hair office today so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me instagram or facebook the link will be in the description thank you for watching and god bless.